This is a portable freezer from the guys at Astro AI. And you're like, oh, you know, who needs a smart freezer? You know, that seems kind of gimmicky, right? So did I. I said the same exact thing. Here it is. <laughs> I should turn it around, but you won't get to see the display. But let me show you the, the branding on it. Um, you know, it's about the size of a 35 liter Yeti, I would say. Very similar in size, but it's from the company Astro AI which makes multimeters, makes a whole bunch of other really cool electronics. I want to zip it around here so you guys can see the front panel because it's got a smart panel up there. It's digital, so it's not just your dad's Coleman cooler, uh, but it has a lot of really cool things going for it. So let me pull this up here. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's not all washed out. It's flickering on camera, but that says four degrees. Now, I don't know how, what, where you get your ice, but I've never been able to have a summer that was at four degrees in my cooler. Now I'm gonna open this thing up and I'll show you in the top down view. I don't know if I can get the whole thing in here, but it's cool. I've got a whole bunch of cool stuff in here already. Now you're like, oh, that's cheating. You've got an ice pack in here. No, no, this is a cold pack for our kids. They're constantly getting hurt, bumping into things. Uh, if you get an injury or you just wanna cool off a little bit, I can keep this ice cold. So this isn't actually cooling the cooler down it's the other way around the cooler is actually cooling this down so that's pretty cool other things that you could never keep in your cooler well I don't know if you should keep keto ice cream but <laughs> these are my wife's so I stole them uh, and this is keto ice cream but it, this is actually ice cream and let's open it up at, it's not open yet but it's hard it's actually ice cold now it has a removable basket so a couple things about it again it has a little area here that you can put stuff in it's digitally controlled and it does 120 or 12 volts so it comes with a 12 volt cord so you can use this in your car boat rv eli you've got a new rv man this thing is really cool so your rv fridges are constantly they're just about this size of a freezer honestly so you can't put a lot of stuff in there and i actually just used this recently and i'm loving it so this is some uh soda as well if i've got this thing at four degrees over here how do i have non-frozen milk and non-frozen uh you know bubbly here and that's because this is the refrigerator side so they cool this area down and it's it's really cold uh, I, I wish you could see the frost, but it's actually got a little bit of frost that's starting just from being open. Now, I had a friend of mine, the first time I, I showed him this, and I said, hey, I've got this this cool portable freezer coming on. He's like, oh, yeah, you know, it's a Peltier cooler. You know, it's, gonna, it's not going to work as well. Um, because a lot of those soft-sided ones that you'll buy, they're a Peltier cooler. That's the technology. And they only drop the temperature like 30 degrees. This will actually keep ice frozen. And, you know, when the first time I lifted it up, it wasn't actually that heavy. And I was like, you know, it's, it's interesting compared to another cooler. It's a little bit heavier than you would expect. But then the other thing is you're going to grab at least a 16 pound or two seven pound bags of ice and throw them into your normal cooler of this size. Whereas the weight that's on this, and that's actually the compressor down over here on this side, the weight that's on this is just going to stay the same so you can add just the weight of food which keeps it really cool now i've got it plugged in on this back side i'm going to show you real quick so i've got it plugged in with this simple wall it's like a laptop charger let's see 14.5 volts at six amps so so that's plugged in down here with this specialized connector now they also include a really long now i like to do the the length test one mississippi Two, that's a 12 foot cord. That is a 12 foot, 12 volt cord. Now I'll show you some pictures of how I was using this recently, but you plug this in, in the back of your car and plug this in, or if you don't have an outlet, again, it's 12 feet. You can plug this in the front of your car. You can plug this in your car and leave the cooler outside. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. So again, 12 foot cord is a huge win. And again, this is from the Astro AI company. Let me go bring that front screen again because I want to show you all the cool features that it has. Again, I've got this set to four degrees, but you'll see that it's at eight degrees now. Hopefully you guys can see that. So it's showing eight degrees and 13.9 volts. Now it's 14. So that's putting out 14 volts. 
it uses at max eight amps, which is a lot of power, again, if it's trying to cool down. And there's a little fan in here. It's basically a scaled down refrigerator, a freezer essentially. So if you don't want things to be that cold, so you can actually just change this up and I can say, no, actually I want it to be, let's say just really cold. I want it to be 35, 34. So you can set that to 34 and it's gonna, the thermostat in this is gonna set this to 34. Now that would cool ice and ice cream. You don't wanna have a leak in here. You don't want water in here. Um, that's the purpose. There is no need for ice in this one. Again, it makes its own cold. So you don't need to add ice to it. But if you set it up a little bit higher, you can use it as a smart refrigerator. So that's another feature, another benefit real quick there. So that's another cool thing. And if you do set it up as a freezer, you can put some items up here that can be a little bit warmer and that will keep them refrigerated. So a couple things I really like about that. Now, it does have a cord here to keep the, the lid from opening too far. It does not look like it's removable. So your lid's gonna be stuck there. It does have a small light. Now, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, you can on the top. So that has a little interior light. So if it's dark out and you're trying to use this thing, it is an absolute fine. Um, so you can set it to whatever temperature you want. Now it goes down to negative four Fahrenheit, which I haven't got gotten that low on it. I've, I've set it to like zero for ice cream and stuff. Um, and it goes up higher than that. You can set it to above freezing temperatures if you just want to keep things cool. So very cool. I've seen a lot of people that really like these things. I've talked to a few people that use uh, different models. One thing that would be nice is if it hinged sideways. That's the only improvement I could see is, you know, in certain places, having a hinge that goes this tall is a little bit cumbersome, but again, gives you full access to the interior. If it hinged up vertically, that would be pretty cool. So it's going to get uh, to 32 degrees in 30 minutes when empty and about 45 to get to negative four. So it gets down to freezing in 30 minutes, 45 minutes gets to its max lowest temperature of negative four. Um, does have 12 volts or 24 volt DC. Okay, that's kind of cool. It consumes one kilowatt of energy per day. So, you know, everybody's gonna be like, okay, what's a kilowatt? <laughs> Uh, and if you've watched some of my other shows, we get into that stuff, but a kilowatt is 1000 Watts of energy, which is the same as running a 50 watt light bulb for 20 hours, a hundred watt light bulb for 10. So one kilowatt of energy usage, that's pretty economical, uh, very low noise. It's been running the entire show in the background here. So if you guys haven't heard it, that's how quiet it is. It's not making any rattling sounds or anything. Um, one thing I would say is if you're using this one, you want to, the difference on this versus other coolers, you want to keep the sides clear here. That's one thing that they point out. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this thing on and we're going to just see what this thing is at in the different zones. So you can kind of get an idea. So I'm plugging the thermal couple in right now. My studio is about 65, which is correct. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm going to go ahead and open this thing so you guys can see it. And we're gonna throw this thermocouple in and we're gonna let it acclimate for a second. I'm gonna put it down here, oh, by the ice cream. And you can see this thing is dropping dramatically right now. So we're at 48, 47. It does have insulation in it too. So if you're not plugged into power, it's not like everything spoils immediately. You're gonna, I think it was heating at about five degrees every half hour to an hour. Again, you'll have to play with it to see, but you can see it's already, you know, getting acclimated here, that thermocouple. After a while, it'll tell us what it is, but we're heading south of freezing here. Now I did change this up to 20, let's see, what is it at? I had it up to 34, if you guys remember just a little bit ago, I cranked it up. So it's already coming back up there. Um, so it'll get below that, but if I take it up into the upper area now, I'm gonna bring the thermal couple up here. And again, it might get the air temperature, which might be a little bit different as this thing opens and closes. So again, definitely much warmer up in that section. Again, air temperature, I'm opening and closing it. So this should stabilize, but it'll definitely be warmer in the upper part of the unit. And this is kind of funny, but another product from Astro AI, one of the really cool products. So this is from Astro AI. I can't say enough good stuff about it, honestly.